Hi guys, got another build for you here. Um, this time we're going to do a build for the Barbarian and it's actually a two-handed levelling build for really high damage. I mean obviously um, obviously the Barbarian is like a tanking uh, build in the game anyway but uh, this should do you really well if you've still got to get to Inferno. I would, Basically, on the way to Inferno, while you're trying to get there, I'd use this build. Once you get there, I'd check out the blog below this video or the other videos where you can see a Barbarian Inferno levelling build because you'll need something a bit different to this build in Inferno. But if you just started the game, you want to get through Diablo 3 fast with the Barbarian, give this a go. I'll just put the sk skills on and... Um, we can have a look at the build. Basically for your primary skill you're going to go for cleave, swing your weapon in a wide arc to deal 120% weapon damage to all enemies caught in the swing. And we're going to stick a broad sweep on that. I mean it is um, level 47. Obviously you know you, you'll put that on when you get up to level 40, uh, 47. Swing your weapon in a wide arc deal 120% weapon damage to all enemies caught in the swing. Before that, I'd um, obviously use Rupture, and then I would go with Reaping Swing. Swing your weapon t in a wide arc to deal 120% weapon damage to all enemies caught in the swing, um, you know, before you can actually get Broad Sweep. So, um, secondary skill, you're going to go for Whirlwind, Deliver multiple attacks to everything in your path for 110% weapon damage. Unlocks at level 20. Um, before you get there, use um, it's a difficult one. Uh, you can use you can use any of these three actually for good leveling with the barbarian. But if I had to go for one, I'd go for rend. A sweeping strike causes all nearby enemies to bleed for 210% weapon damage. Is physical. It just that can add up. But this is what we want to end up with whirlwind and you want to put wind shear with that uh, deliver multiple attacks on everything in your path 110 percent weapon damage and wind shear gain one fury for each enemy struck just keeps your your fury up before that i would just stick with dust devils generate harsh tornadoes that inflict 40 percent weapon damage okay um your defensive skill Defensive, I'd go for Leap, unlocks at level 8, Leap into the air, dealing 85% weapon damage to all enemies within 8 yards of your destination and slowing their movement speed by 60% for 3 seconds. When you get in Inferno with the Barbarian, slowing things down, or slowing mobs down and stunning them will become a top priority, but even before that, um, this skill can help. A very good skill to have, and you want to go for Call of Arit. Shockwaves burst forth from the ground, increasing the radius of effect to 16 yards and pulling affected enemies towards you. Now, before that, I would go for launch as soon as you can. Jump into the air with such great force that enemies within 8 yards of the origin of the jump are slowed by 60% for 3 seconds. So, that's what you want to end up with, Call of Arit. But you want to go for launch before that because it takes a while. Um, where it unlocks at level 44. Uh, for your might, you want to go for overpower, unlocks at level 26, deal 165% weapon damage to all targets within 9 yards, landing a critical hit is a chance to lower the cooldown by 1 second. Before you get that, I mean, you know, while you're levelling, I'd stick with Ancient Spear, throw a spear to pull an enemy back to you. Briefly slowing the target's movement by 60% and dealing 185% weapon damage. Okay, so that's the um, that's what you can use before overpower unlocks at level 26. Now you want to put killing spree. It unlocks at level 34. It just increases your critical hit chance up to 10% for six seconds. Before you do that. Oh, sorry, before you can get that, just use Storm of Steel. Okay, tactics. T 
tactics you want to go for battle rage unlocks at level 22 enter a rage which increases damage by 15% and critical hit chance by 3% for 30 seconds and you want to go for bloodshed it's a high level rune level 54 while under the effects of battle rage critical hits have a chance to cause an explosion of blood dealing 20% of the damage done to all other nearby enemies that can mount up quickly before you get that stick with marauders rage and it just increases your damage or you could go for swords swords to plowshares while under the effects of battle rage critical hits have a 5% chance to cause enemies to drop additional health globes because that can help as well um, right for your rage slot you want to go for wrath of the berserker it's one of my favorite skills pretty much for all of the builds even an inferno build um, wrath of the berserker enter berserker rage which raises several attributes for 15 seconds that is use that as much as you can um, and obviously save it for your your boss fights and so on now you want slaughter to go with that unlocks at level 46 so it takes a while to get but while wrath of the berserker is active critical hits have a chance to cause an eruption of blood dealing 155 percent weapon damage to enemies within 15 yards let me just see because that does take a while to um, unlock before you do that I'd go for, it's basically with the with this wrath of the berserker because it's such a high level skill you you can't get many low level runes on it but before you get that go for our rat's will activating knocks back all enemies within 12 yards and deals 430 percent weapon damage to them okay now um, you need some good passives to go with that what you want to go for is bloodthirst gain three percent of all the damage you do is life because you'll be dealing out a lot of damage um, your next one you want ruthless um, critical hit chance increased by five percent critical hit damage increased by fifty percent many skills and runes rely on critical hits to trigger their effects and you've got quite a few in there so that will help lastly you want to go for weapons master gain a bonus based on the weapon type of your main hand weapon swords daggers 15% increased damage maces and axe 10% critical hit chance pole arms and spears 10% attack speed and mighty weapons free fury per hit I suggest but it doesn't make that much difference because it this complements all weapons I suggest you go for two swords or two axes um, for best results so there you go that's a very high high damage um, dual will two-handed leveling build for the barbarian give it a go let me know what you think and I will keep them coming okay guys cheers